Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the Windows Movie Maker timeline. So before we start, what we're going to use in this tutorial are three different image types. We're going to use a WMV file which we created in Photo Story. We're going to use an MPEG file which is an AVI file which I converted over to MPEG which is a video file. And then we're going to use some still images. First of all, let's import the still images. We start off at the top and we click on Tasks. Tasks brings up the main task pane on the left hand side. And we're going to just say Import Pictures. And it'll open up in the folder where you've stored your pictures, depending on where you've stored them. And say Import. If you go back into your Collections bin and you click on the Collections button over there, you will see that all your still images are stored in the Collections. The next step is go back to Tasks. Now we're going to import the video file. The video file that I've made is called Desert MPG or Desert MPEG. Click on the Desert MPEG file, say Import. Okay, as you can see, it has imported our movie, but it has imported it into segments. What Windows Movie Maker does once it imports a video file is it splits it up into usable pieces. That's why you'll see that entire video that we've just imported, which is about two minutes long, has been divided up into clips. There's a row two, two, three, four, and so on. Now, if you go back to your collections, you'll also see that Windows Movie Maker has actually made a different folder for these clips. The next step is we're going back to tasks, and we're going to import video, and this is the little piece that I did in photo story. It's called Desert Insert, WMV file, and it's going to say Import. Again, Windows Movie Maker will import this file into a folder on its own. As soon as it's a video file, it creates a new folder or a new collections bin, and it imports it into there. It's just easier to find your way around. Now, if you go back to collections, you'll see that you'll have a collections bin with all your still images, the desert bin, which has all the desert footage, and the desert insert, which has the photo story file. Alright, let's start working in the timeline. This section here is what is referred to as the timeline, or let's rather say this entire section is referred to as the timeline. You've got your video, you've got transitions, audio, audio music, and title overlay. And at the top you'll find a few tools that you can use, and the first one is audio, the one is to record your microphone sound, zoom in on your timeline, zoom out on your timeline, and these two buttons are the same as using the buttons on the preview window. And we're going to use the preview window buttons, not those two. Okay, now that all the images and the video files are imported, the first step is to find out which of the video pieces we would like to use. If you click on the file, it'll open up in your preview window, hit the play button, and you can see what is available on that specific clip. There we've got two shots which look very nice, three shots that look very nice. So, four shots, I'll stop that, and we're going to use this as the beginning of our movie. Now I'm going to use these two zoom tools over here. They zoom in and out of your timeline zoom into the timeline because I just want to keep the first four shots that I've placed on the timeline here. So you can just click anywhere in the timeline here and you will see the little timeline indicator. This blue one over here and the line here is where you are at this moment and you can just click inside there and it'll move along. So I'm just going to pull it along a bit and want to keep that and we don't want that shot now. To get rid of that, what we do is basically find almost the point where you want to go. You select the shot. If you hold the Alt key and use your left and right arrow keys, you'll see the cursor moves one frame at a time. So if I move it backwards, hit the cursor again, and it's there. From here on, I don't want these shots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the split function to split the shot so that I can get rid of this piece over here. You place the cursor exactly where you want to want the cut to be, click on the button, and as you will see, it would have split the shot into two. Now all you need to do is click on this and hit the delete button and it is gone. Now for our next shot, let's look for something 
nice okay I know the footage so he has a nice shot that I know of I'm gonna click it just want to make sure it's the piece that I want click the play button and there's nice wind blowing and some sand blowing along there we go so we'll use just the first one of those pull it on the timeline it'll snap to the edge here we are close to the cut point so I'm just gonna hold the alt key and go left to find out there's the last frame net select the shot again split it and let's get rid of those pieces okay now that we've selected our video footage that we want to use we're just going to go to our collections bin and we're going to use some pictures these are just a simple still images that I got from a site okay we'll just add three images to the end all you need to do again just drag and drop your images into where you want them to be use that one and we'll use this big house and there's another big house that we can use these shots are a bit long they're around about five seconds we want them to be around about three seconds or more or less the easiest way of working the still images is once you move your cursor over the cut which is over there you'll see there's a cut select the shot itself then move the cursor over the side and then just all you need to do is just drag left or right and it'll make your shot shorter or longer and we're just going to move all of these and we're just going to make them a little bit shorter and we click on this one and at the end just move it a little bit shorter and for the ending I'm going to use another video file the one that I created in photo story which is in my collections bin under desert insert and again all you need to do is drag and drop it onto your timeline if you zoom out you will now see that your entire timeline is there and ready to play.